And now the news for the East Midlands. I'm Elise Chamberlain. Good afternoon. Derby's Silk Mill has been awarded the biggest grant ever given by the Heritage Lottery Fund to a project in the city. The award of more than £9 million will help turn the building into a museum, celebrating Derby's heritage as a city of manufacturing. Well, our reporter Navtej Johal is outside the mill for us now. Good afternoon, Nav. What will the museum contain? The plans sound really exciting, Nav. How popular is it expected to be? Thanks very much, Nav. That's great. Conservationists are warning that a nature reserve will be decimated if an access road to a proposed housing development is given the go-ahead. If approved, the road would go right through the Quarry Lane Reserve in Mansfield. Quentin Rayner can tell us more. Members of drama groups in Derby have been assured they'll be consulted about a replacement for the city's assembly rooms. About 40 camp police are searching for five people who fled from a car which crashed in Nottingham yesterday. A Vox a memorial wood created within Bradgate Park in Leicestershire has, was, was being officially opened this morning. The trust that runs the park, an increase in the number of international students choosing to study at Nottingham Business School has been attributed to Donald Trump's hardline stance on immigration. There's been a big decline in students wanting to study business in the United States, but in Nottingham, the number is up by 25%. It's thought concern over plans for tighter restrictions on visas offered to skilled foreign workers in the US could be behind that shift. Now that's all your news, so time to take a look at today's weather and for the weekend. Alex, what do we know about the weekend? I know there'll be a lot of people going to Goose Fair wanting to know. Well, if you're off to Goose Fair tonight, then that is looking good. Perhaps a little bit chilly, potentially down to around 6 degrees Celsius tonight. Goose Fair tomorrow, brilliant, great weather for that. If you're leaving it to the weekend, though, there's the chance of having some showers in there as well. Now, as for this morning, we started off on a very windy note. There were yellow weather warnings out for wind this morning. We had gusts of 40 to 60 miles per hour in places so definitely enough to get the washing dry this morning but now we've got towards the afternoon it looks as though we're sticking with blue skies and scattered cloud much calmer now that's all because we've got high pressure building in from the south that's settling things down for the next 24 hours or so so looking at the detail over the course of this afternoon there's plenty of sunshine around scattered cloud just a few showers feeding in from the northwest and we're expecting highs today of around 15 to 16 degrees Celsius. Still a little bit breezy in places, but certainly not as windy as this morning. So as we go through the course of tonight, it's a mostly clear night, just a little bit of cloud here and there, but clear and dry. Under those clear skies, though, temperatures will fall away in towns and cities around 7 or 8 degrees Celsius. But in the countryside, we could get down to around 4 or 5 degrees Celsius tonight. So if you are out and about in Goose Fair, it will be just a little bit chilly. Take your coat with you. Now, as for tomorrow, it will be a dry and bright day plenty of sunshine around your eyes aren't deceiving you we're just expecting a little bit of cloud in the afternoon with highs of around 13 degrees celsius so again it's a little bit chilly tomorrow but we do have some sunshine on the way i'll leave you with the outlook some sunshine tomorrow but a little bit wetter at the weekend i think people will like the sound of that sunshine alex sounds great now that's all from your lunchtime team Anne and dominic will be back with east midlands today at 6 30 goodbye